Video presented to you by Unique to Billions e-learning. Please subscribe it and press the bell icon. In this chapter, we are going to introduce probability. Uncertainties are part of everyday life. We cannot predict many events with a full certainty. We are only able to predict the chance of occurring that event. This uncertainty is there in many subjects we study like physics, finance, chemistry, maths, etc. In many cases, these uncertainties or possibilities can be measured numerically by means of probability. Then what is probability? Probability is simply the likelihood or chance or possibility of occurring an event. Let us understand this with an example. Here is my question. How much chance is there for you to score more than 90 percentage in mathematics exam? I can easily predict a chance if I know about you and your previous marks in mathematics. For an example, if your marks for mathematics in previous 5 exams out of 100 are 88, 93, 95, 91 and 94. That is, you scored above 90 percentage in 4 exams out of 5 exams you return. So, I can easily predict that your chance of scoring more than 90 percentage this time is more. Now, how much chance? For this, we need to express this in numerical values. That is, out of 5 exams, you scored above 90 percentage in 4 exams. So, I can just write it as 4 by 5. This is the numerical value of probability here. I call it is empirical probability or experimental probability. because it is based on some data recorded in previous occurrences. So, empirical probability or experimental probability is a probability if it is calculated based on experiments or recorded data. In this chapter, we only look into experimental or empirical probability. Now, we need to find a formula for this. In our example, I can write probability of scoring more than 90 percentage is equal to 4 by 5 I calculated. That is equal to number of times you scored more than 90 percentage divided by total number of exams written. This is the formula for probability for scoring more than 90 percentage in our example. We need to generalize this equation. 
for this i am calling score above 90% age as event and age exam as trial therefore this formula can be generalized as probability of an event is equal to number of trials in which an event happened divided by total number of trials This equation can be used to calculate probability of an event. We come across two terms namely event and trial. Including these we are going to understand three terms which are commonly used in probability. They are event, trial and outcome. First trial or experiment above we consider exams as trial that is actions from where we will get an outcome so trial is an action which results in one or several outcomes second event in our example we consider scores above 90 percentage as an event so an event is a collection of some outcomes And the last term we are going to study here is outcome. It is simply possible results of a trial. We will study exact definitions of these terms in probability topics of other classes. Let us learn something more about the numerical value of probability. First, what is the limit of these numerical values? Of probability. Look at our example. There are two extreme ends for this probability. They are 1. You may have scored 0 times above 90 percentage out of 5 exams and 2. You have scored 5 times above 90 percentage out of five exams. In first case I can write the probability of this event is equal to 0 by 5 that is equal to 0 and for second case probability of this event is equal to 5 by 5 that is equal to 1. This means that probability of any event lies in between 0 and 1. 0 is the chance for not occurring the event and 1 is the certainty of occurring that event. For understanding the second part, let us see what is the probability of scoring less than or equal to 90 percentage. I can write it as number of times 
you score less than or equal to 90 percentage divided by total number of exams from our example i can easily found the number of times you scored less than 90 percentage or equal to 90 percentage is 1 total number of exams is 5 so probability of scoring less than or equal to 90 percentage is 1 by 5 we already calculated the probability of scoring more than 90 percentage in our example is 4 by 5. Let us add these two. We get 1 by 5 plus 4 by 5 that is equal to 1. What is the importance of these two events? I took here. Let us look into the data. The importance is that they cover all the events in the trial. Therefore, we can generalize for n events if E1, E2, E3, etc. up to En cover all events in the trial then probability of E1 plus probability of E2 plus probability of E3 plus etc. plus probability of En is equal to 1. So, in this video we completed whole theory part for class 9 mathematics chapter 15 probability thank you for watching this video keep learning if you are not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe it also please like and share this video